Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the 2020s. We're going to make this a progressive decade. Or are we? I'm going to tell a story, a tale of two decades, because basically, as a country, we're at a crossroads. And there are two scenarios. I call them the good scenario and the bad scenario. And the bad scenario goes like this. We wake up on Wednesday, November 9th, 2022, and we've lost the House, and we've lost the Senate, and we've lost the governor of Michigan, the governor of Pennsylvania, the governor of Wisconsin, and the Secretary of State of Arizona. And in January 2023, Republicans control all levers of power except for the presidency. They control both houses of Congress. They control all swing state governments. They have us in a vice grip and they change all the election laws at the state level. And Trump runs again in 2024, or maybe it's Ron DeSantis or Nikki Haley and they cut into our advantages in the suburbs. And as the 2024 election approaches, we have Biden, who will be 81 years old. And we have Kamala Harris, who would be a great candidate, a historic candidate in so many ways. And we know she will face unprecedented racism and sexism and xenophobia. And let's be clear, if Kamala Harris is our candidate, we need to be prepared to fight with everything we've got to get her elected. And we do. We fight with everything we've got. And it comes down to a nail biter in the Electoral College, just like last time. But this time, Republicans control all levers of the voting process. And on Wednesday, November 6, 2024, which isn't that long from now, we are back in the Trump nightmare, but even worse, and with climate change, it's game over. That is the nightmare scenario we need to be thinking about. And I know it's too awful to think about, but we have to think about it because right now, there's probably a 50-50 chance that we end up in that reality. I wanna let that sink in for a moment. I wanna ask you to think about what would you do? What would you be willing to do to make sure we don't end up in that scenario? So think about it, take a deep breath, shake it off, shake off the bad scenario. All right, let's get into the good scenario. The good scenario, yay! The good scenario starts right now. We're getting the virus under control. The economy is bouncing back. We pass a $4 trillion jobs, infrastructure, family bill. We pass voting rights legislation. We get renewable energy to save ourselves. And we got all kinds of good things and we don't get everything we want at the federal level, real talk, but we take some giant steps forward and people can see that their lives actually getting better. And then we go all out in 2022, all out. We hold the house just barely and we pick up a couple seats in the Senate and we hold all the swing state governors and we even win a trifecta in Arizona and in the great state of Georgia, we elect Stacey Abrams as the governor, okay? We can do this. When we analyzed what is it gonna take to make the 2020s a whole progressive decade, we noticed an interesting thing. The next two elections are gonna be the hardest. If we can survive 2022 and 2024, over time, the demographics shift in our favor. And if we can get through these two elections, 2022 and 2024, we should be able to make this a whole progressive decade and maybe not just one progressive decade. It can set us on the path to having two or three progressive decades, a whole progressive era. We might be able to have a whole progressive century, okay? And where we can have nice things, right? Like universal healthcare and leadership on climate change. And we can greatly reduce poverty. We can greatly reduce mass incarceration. We can invest in people again at all levels and make America as great as it's promised. We can do that, you know, and not just at the federal level. 
Texas is going to transform. North Carolina is going to transform. We can transform this country. There's really no question about whether we're going to have a progressive decade. The only question is whether it's going to happen in the 2020s for us to enjoy it, or whether we're going to have to wait until the 2030s after we have a trumped up nightmare. And all of that is going to be determined in 2024, which is going to be determined in large part in 2022, which is going to be determined in large part in 2021 right now. So take a deep breath. Think about both of these scenarios and which one you want to live in. And think about what you are willing to do to make sure we get one scenario and not the other. Thank you. Let's work together to make this a progressive decade. Go team.